all right guys so today's video is about how to connect webfit pro app without wasting much of your time let's get down to business so the first thing to do here is load webfit pro app which you can see on my smartphone here if you are using an android phone go to your google play store and search for webfit pro app if you are using an iphone then you have to go to your apple app store and download webfit pro app the next thing to do is to switch on your bluetooth your data and location so you go and switch on your Bluetooth, your data, which you can see, or your Wi-Fi and location. That is your GPS. Once you have switched on these three, then go to the next step. The next step is to now launch the WebFit Pro app, which you can see here. And here you are going to see, welcome to WebFit Pro. Now click agree to the username and privacy policy. Select agree. And when you select that, you are going to see the following permission required. Select I know. When you select that, it's going to show you the account login page. Now you have to input your email and password if you have registered. If you have not, then you need to register here. So you go to this option here and select register if you are coming for the first time. And select I have agree. Select Gmail. And select this option and you are going to see that your gmail will log in automatically to this option sometimes you may have issue trying to register you can just go through the normal process you can give it your gmail and it's going to log in for you next thing to do is to look at this dashboard down here you are, you are going to see home which is this place we are that is the health and you are going to see exercise which is where you can do your fitness and the game is where you can just see some games to play with. And the next one is the device. That is, you want to connect your smartwatch to your smartphone. And last but not the least is the me option where you can do your profile setting and the rest. So we are going to select the device option here because we want to connect our WebFit Pro smartwatch. Now you are going to see add device up here. Select add device and you are going to select while using the app. When you select that, it's going to say allow WebFit Pro to find and determine a uh, relative position of nearby device. Select allow. And you are going to see that it's going to start scanning for devices around it. That is your smart watch. As you can see, this watch is HW2F, which is already on the screen. So I'm going to select connect here. And it's going to start pairing up with the smart watch. As you can see, it says connection success. So I'm going to swipe down to see if it is truly connected. As you can see, my icon here showing that it is truly connected to the smartwatch. Okay, so I'm going to switch this on because this will now be for Bluetooth call. Okay, so I'm going to switch that on so that I can get Bluetooth call on this guy. I can use it to make call. Select select option here. And you are going to see turn on notification here. So it says where fit pro start message notification select turn on so that i can get notification on your smart watch all right so you select turn on and you get to the notification access page now find where fit pro on the list and toggle it on as you can see here not allow so we are going to toggle it on and allow where fit pro now it has been toggled on select the back option here and you are going to see notification message will be enabled select i know okay now you have turned on the notification for your phone your sms and others you can select select once again and here you can see a quick prompt that says to accurately test your heart rate please wear your watch and keep it at least one figure away from the carpal bone so just select i know and to ensure normal operation and more stability connection you can go to the settings here and select go to the settings and it's going to show you phone permission page we have already done that before so if you want to check or maybe you have an issue you can still come here and select click to modify and it's going to show you the name of the phone brand here you can select yours because mine is samsung so i'm going to select samsung and i can now say go to settings and start setting it up i'm going to select that and find where fit pro on my list okay that is w which is this so i'm going to select that 
and make sure all permissions are granted to WebFit Pro apps. I'm going to select this option here. As you can see, there is permission for camera, file, and media, location, and nearby access. But the rest, there is no permission. So all I have to do is to grant permission here. So I'm going to grant permission to calendar, allow, and select the back option. Do the same to call log, and do the same to contact, allow, so that all this will work for you. If not, your WebFit Pro app will not work well. So grant all permission here physical activities sms you allow and now you see that there is no permission deny that is good now you can go back go back to the settings of your app that is your web fit pro app and do the needful that is you can now customize it and do whatever you want to do with it now i'm going to select the back option here and now you can change the time settings you can customize um, the wallpaper and do some other stuff. So now let's check the notification access. This is an advert, so we are just going to wait for it to go. Close the advert, and as you can see, the location permission is asking you that you should grant location permission for all time. You can grant all time, make sure it is on all time. Okay, select the back option. And you are going to see notification access. Here, you have to toggle on the notification access for WhatsApp. If you want to get WhatsApp notification, Instagram, and the rest, you can see the list here. And if you can't find the list of your social media here, make sure you toggle on the other option down here. Okay? If you toggle off phone, that means you are not going to get phone notification and the rest. So, I'm going to bring this smartphone and send a message to the smartphone. Let's see if it's going to show on the smartwatch. All right, as you can see, the message has dropped on the smartwatch, on the smartphone. And let's see if it's on the smartwatch now. As you can see, it is right on the smartwatch. So that is how to get WhatsApp notification on your WebFit Pro smartwatch. So to change your wallpaper, come to this hot die here and select all dies. All right. You can see some that have dollar sign and some with not installed. So most of the ones that comes with not installed, are the free ones why the one with dollar sign means you are going to buy them so i'm going to install one of these let's install this and you can see lanta child i'm going to select installation and it says allow where fits to access your photo select allow and it's going to start downloading it as you can see it's installing it already and on the smartwatch it's showing install so you just have to wait for it to install completely now we have our new Wear Fit Pro watch face. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So if you want to customize it, that is, you want to add your own picture, you are going to come to this customize. Picture, select the option there. You can also change the style to wherever you want it to be and select installation. The next one I'm going to show you is how to set your time. So you come to these other settings here and you are going to see your wrist to wrist, hourly. This is an advert. So let's close that. Hourly automatic measurement and 12 hours clock. So look at this. If I turn this to 12, if I turn this on to 12 hours, it's going to change it to 12 hours. And sometimes if I turn it off, it's going to change it to 24 hours. Turn this feature on will make the watch to go to 12 hours. Okay. So just put it at 12 hours like this so that your watch will be in 12 hours. If not, it is going to be in 24 hours time format. 